اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد في الأولين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الآخرين وصل على سيدنا محمد في الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين ما شاء الله لا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمره لوضع تمسان يفقه قولي ما الذي أولي الله أعينونا بعون الله وكونوا عونا لنا بالله أصنعه بفضل الله طريقتنا الصحبة والخير في الجمعية Our way is companionship and goodness is in gatherings of goodness with people of goodness That's it on our own, we are prey for shaitan. Shaitan likes you to be on your own. He doesn't like you to be with good ones. He prefers you also to be with uh, with people, but people of suit, sahabat suit. But if alone or with bad people. But he doesn't like you to join good people. Because when you join good people, Allahumma sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammad, The Sufis, they say, you know, the example of uh, good company is as if, when you go into a, a, a shop, when you befriend the Attar, a person who sells perfume, you go into his shop or you see him. When you see him, minimum, you're going to smell a nice smile because he's a perfumer, so he's not going to leave his house without perfume. And even better, sometimes he's carrying something with him, and as because he's the attar, he's going to take some and, and put on you also some nice letter, or maybe gift you some nice letter. And the opposite is true when you befriend bad people, you uh, as if you are befriending a blacksmith or sahib or the one who, you know, back in the days they had the kir, they used to the air so that the fire becomes more at the blacksmith because they need hot they need to heat up real bad so they so the nafiq the one who uses the make the fire more so when you go to visit him what's going to happen when you go to the blacksmith minimum you're going to smell like uh, burned uh, steel and coal and uh, that's the least damage you're going to get also, if you're unlucky, some fire will jump on your clothes, burn burn a hole in it or something like that. And you don't... So the, the, the example is sohbah, of sohbah is like that. Is we, we, don't, we don't... The emphasis is not on me. You go to our brothers, uh, different... Uh, he, our brothers who learn that... Uh, Everyone is on their own, and you go directly, and you don't need wasita, you don't need wasila, you don't need anything. What they teach you, you are on your own. You're, you're good enough. You don't need anybody. Not only that, uh, even before you are ready, before you even made teskia, before you purify yourself, before you've been certified, you can go and tell people that they are making mistakes as well. Uh, so that is not the way. The way is to sit with Ahlullah, to learn from them, to gain their baraka, and to spend enough time where their ahwal, their states, start to become your state. Inshallah. There are some very nice speakers on that phone. Huh? Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. So that is the, the way. And tariqah and tasawuf is, is all about that. And now, suhba, yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shrunk this earth. You can be in suhba today with people who are uh, living on the other side of the world. You can learn from Ahlillah. You know, before where you had to uh, get on your horse or get on your uh, ship or something like that to, to fly or to to sail somewhere to go meet a sheikh. Now, the benefit of technology, the one one of the few benefits of technology is that you can 
join the majlis of one of awliya Allah in in Egypt. Uh, life, you can follow him and join his majlis and, and be in his majlis. Um, if one can uh, manage to steer his horse for these things. It, the horse is our ego. Inshallah, Ramadan is coming. The month of Ramadan is coming. And Inshallah, in, in the month of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is relieving us from Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad uh, He's relieving us from uh, shayateen Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that in the month of uh, Ramadan the gates of heaven are open the gates of hell are closed and the shayateen are uh, handcuffed or cut tied up with salasil so they can't bother the believers but if we are not ready shaitan is not our only enemy if we don't uh, get ready uh, on other levels as well uh, your ego is going to, to use that month to entertain itself social media Business deals, uh, movies, uh, staying up late, uh, going out to restaurants, I don't know, after Taraweeh, uh, shows, what, what have you. You're, you're, uh, he's not going to leave you alone. So if, if we don't have any discipline, if we don't apply any discipline on our ego, even though shaitan is tied up, we will squander this opportunity that is Ramadan. And so before Ramadan, one should start to get rid of some bad habits and to uh, start to acquire good habits so that when Ramadan comes, we are not coming uh, at that time struggling. Uh, otherwise, you know, one should, if one engages in, in futile talk, in backbiting, one should stop, should hold the reins of their nafs to stop from engaging in that. If one uh, spends too much time on social media, then put the phone away, train your ego, check your phone only for your business or for this or for that. Don't. Don't waste your time. Start from now opposing your ego. Opposing your ego and learn the way of the Sahaba. Start from now uh, telling your ego no. Sayyidina Umar saw a Sahabi leaving his house. He says, to where? He says, I'm going to the market. He says, for what? He says, I'm desiring to eat some meat. I'm going to get some meat. He says, Sayyidina Umar, he says, it's every time you, 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 your ego desires something, you just, uh, uh, you just, yes sir. I go, what do you want? Uh, yes sir. I want to eat, okay. I want to watch TV, okay. I want to go to the mall, okay. I want to, I want to, but the problem with this ego never ends. It's a, it's an endless pit of demands. The more you satisfy your ego, the more it's going to be demanding on you. That's, that's the nature. So from now, start saying no. I'm not, put the phone away. I'm not looking at TikTok or TikTok or I don't know what these days. Or, or uh, Instagram or this, no. I'm not doing that. Pick up the Quran. From now, start to have a, a daily word of Quran. Pick up the Quran. One page, two page, five pages, ten pages if you can. Don't wait till the month of Ramadan. Why wait till the month of Ramadan? From today, start. 
bringing new habits, good habits. If you sleep late and you miss Fajr, make your nafs go to sleep early. Because it's, it's a trick of shaitan to keep people, young people staying up late enough where they're going to miss their Fajr. No, wake up, wake up on, on Fajr. Make your nafs stay. Oppose yourself. When the, 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 the nafs is not interested in, in akhirah. If we train our ego to, to get everything it asks for, eventually it's going to lead us to hell. That's the reality. So in, in the month of Ramadan, no one is going to, uh, you can't blame shaitan for your, uh, for your shortcomings at that time. You're going to blame, the only thing to blame is your desire and your nafs, your love of dunya. I love to go here, I love to come there. I love, yeah, that's it. This month may be your last month, maybe my last month. May Allah grant us to fast. So the month of Ramadan may be our last month, last Ramadan, last opportunity. Last opportunity to make it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings this season. It is fadlun bahtun min Allah. Fadl. Allah's favor. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hadith uh, where Prophet sallallahu was going on the mimbar. And in, the, in that hadith, Prophet took the first step and he said, Ameen. The second step and said, Ameen. Third step and he said, Ameen. And then afterwards the Sahaba said, why did you say Ameen? He said, while I was going up, Jibreel alayhi salam came. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Wa sallam. And he said, Raghima anfu mri'in dhukirta indahu wa lam yusalli alayk. He said, humiliated. His nose is rubbed in the dust. The one means in akhirah. Means he would be humiliated. The one who, when you are mentioned in front of him, doesn't make salawat on you. And then he says, "Raghima alf anf mri'in balagha." يعني ما معنى الحديث إنه أبواه كأحدهما أو كلاهما عنده يعني in their old age they're they're with him, one of them or both of his parents. و لم يدخل بهما الجنة. That he didn't enter heaven because of them. This is another thing. Your parents. And it may be he, he will be humiliated, the one whose parents, they reach old age. And he didn't enter heaven with, through, through serving them, through being kind to them, through looking after them. Birruhuma. And then the third one, he says, That humiliated is he the one who witnesses Ramadan and doesn't get Allah's forgiveness. Yani, yani you'd have to be, yani getting Allah's forgiveness in Ramadan is so easy that you, for you to miss that, you'd have to be doing some really, being a really bad person, doing some really bad stuff. This is, this is the value of Ramadan. So this is a season, an opportunity for us to uh, get to, to, to be from the people of Ramadan, from Utaqa al-Rahman, from those who maghfurun lahum, from those who Allah mercy dresses, this is the, this is that opportunity. If I tell you right now, if ask anyone, if I tell you now the next month, huh? If you do something, if you work ten hours a day for dunya in this job, I will give you hundred thousand dollars by the end of the month. Like people will go and sleep. Not work ten hours; they will work twenty hours. For what? For dunya fania. Eternal happiness. Jannat. 
heavens, delights for the hard work of one month, struggling against your nafs, applying yourself in ibadah, doing what's good for Allah, engaging in good deeds, learning your Quran, staying away from backbiting, staying away from uh, useless talk, staying away from uh, eating uh, haram, staying away from doing all kinds of unacceptable acts, and at the end of it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is certifying you from Utaqa al-Rahman. Why we're not running? Why we're not getting ready? If somebody says, I'll give you a job, i pays you $10,000 a month, but you have to take a course for six months, uh, intensive course, people will be, uh, they won't sleep to, to get to do the course. Why? Because, because we are aligned with, with our ego's desires. Because we have trained ourselves for our donkey to be on our back, not the opposite way. Come, come, see. Sheikh, if you can... Uh, no, he, he, can, he can sit here again. This is the, because the mic, the mic for him is here. Allah, Allah, Allah. So that is our condition. So make intention, inshallah, from tonight on this holy Friday, Ya Rabbi, this, this Jum'ah, this month of Ramadan, on this night of Friday, that I'm intending to worship you and serve you and obey you perfectly as you like to be obeyed and worshipped in the holy month of Ramadan. Ya Rabbi, make this Ramadan a one-way street towards being a good servant, never to return to Mbadis. It's not difficult for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he if he's if he knows you're sincere, if he see, when Allah sees sincerity in one's asking, when Sheikh Nazim used to say, Talabna wajadna. Talabna wajadna. He said, We seek, we find. Allah is generous. He's waiting for you to ask. He wants us to ask. He wants us to ask for what? To ask for, for His pleasure. He wants us to ask for His uh, mercy. He wants us to ask to be His true servants. Who's asking? Isn't the hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, in the last third of the night That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His manifestations of mercy, of acceptance. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Some of our brothers, they think Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a body and He comes down to, to sama dunya. May Allah forgive us and forgive them. No. Allah is creator of space and place. Not contained in space and place. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but in his mercy in his maghfirah uh, in his ra'fa in his rahma he descends and he asks anyone asking forgiveness he's saying anyone asking anyone anyone is up asking me Everybody crying, uh, difficulty in, in life and problems and arzaq. And, uh, and your Lord is asking you, where are you? Where are you at, at 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, one hour before Fajr? We go knocking this person's door, this job's door, this boss's door, this, and the one who's... No door opens without his permission. <laughs> We, we don't. So this is, this is what, make a word. Wake up. When you wake up for suhoor, wake up 10, 15, 20 minutes before your suhoor. Half an hour before your suhoor. And make wudu. And pray a couple of rakahs. Read 10 uh, ayahs, 20 ayahs. And, and make sajda and ask Allah. Ya Rabbi, 
we have to push ourselves mm -hmm. and it is it is it is not true that we're not able to do maulana sheikh nazim used to say he used to one time he was telling this brother he was one of the murids in in his majlis i heard the sohbah i never met the brother but he said look at that one he works he serves in the zawiya when he comes everybody after everybody eats whatever he's in the he, he's cleaning you never see him sleeping in the darga he's up before everybody before he says look at him he, this one why iman it makes you fly motivation aspiration makes you fly it, you see your that power of that when 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 dunya beckons on you when you have an important test when you have an important meeting you put the alarm you're up before the alarm why you're being assigned importance to it this is very important for me therefore i am going to do it and your whole being is focused towards accomplishing the task even before the time comes you are up why because your himma is for dunya when your himma is for akhirah when you believe there's a day, there's a hisab, there's a judgment, there's a meeting of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's an accounting of the time you've spent on this earth. When you believe that is coming with certainty, your himma will be for who? For akhirah. That is the reality. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open for us understanding and open for us real faith and certainty of faith and raise our hymn, our aspiration for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be real lovers, real lovers of Allah and His Prophet and to have in our heart that motivation to be true servants. Wa min Allahi tawfiq, bi hurmati al-habib, bi hurmati al-fatiha.